definitely was not a love marriage and i don't think we can even call it an arranged marriage for that matter uh, because i vividly recall that day when i um, gave my uh, fellowship interview after having passed out as the best uh, post graduate student uh, of ophthalmology in shankar nitraya that year uh, when i appeared for the fellowship interview uh, konya was definitely not uh, uh on my priority list believe me when i say that it was probably the last on my priority list and when asked what i wanted to take i must have listed out everything else glaucoma pediatric ophthalmology uh uvia neuro ophthalmology medical retina and um uh, dr prema padmanabhan was there uh, very much there sitting during the course of the interview and somebody has asked me you know um, if i wanted cornea and i categorically i i i just refused to look at her and i categorically said uh, no i don't want cornea and uh, uh, you know when you think of destiny versus uh, free will probably what happened in my uh, situation was uh, sheer destiny uh, because um, uh, call it a turn of events and ultimately uh, Uh, when you know i i did take up cornea as the uh, specialty and uh, i had to go and report to her as the head of my department i was so red faced with embarrassment because it was just a couple of weeks back i had so categorically refused to take up cornea as my uh, field of uh, uh, specialty and the two people whom i would probably say i'm indebted to Uh, for being in this uh, field our uh, dr k ravi shankar he was our um, academics in charge uh, and uh, he's still a father figure to me and of course dr prema padmanabhan herself uh, she um, is a person who is a huge inspiration to all of us anyone who's trained in the cornea department of sn um, uh she is a huge inspiration that's the story of how i got into konya and uh, the rest of it is all there for all of you to see i think uh, uh patients uh, teach us every day a lot of things that we learn we learn from their grit and their determination One of the biggest setbacks in the field of uh, cornea has been uh, uh, the uh, after effects of uh, conditions like Stevens Johnson syndrome and chemical injuries, which especially affects young adults, teenagers, sometimes children, which in a matter of you know literally minutes overnight uh, changes the life of these uh, individuals and literally pushes them into darkness and. Uh, to be able to do something to give them some semblance of normalcy and uh, to be able to give them back some amount of vision so that you know they can go around being normal to some extent is uh, such a huge uh, gratification and uh, when you see them come back to you with all their gratitude yes but with so much of confidence and independence instilled in them because of the little something that you know, you're being able to do them it gives you the motivation to continue to do the work we have a uh, young kids who have now uh, grown up who are working in multinational companies who are uh, bankers who are research scientists uh, some of them have a career processes in the i and to see them in that kind of a position uh, is such a huge motivation that helps us continue to go on with this kind of work that has a lot of challenges uh, in the uh, journey uh, we go the full way there's nothing that uh, uh, is uh, half done or half hearted and uh, like we always say the three words that really don't exist in our vocabulary uh, for these patients are uh, best left alone so that really doesn't exist uh, for us and every patient teaches us Uh, and motivates us to continue to do the work that we are doing. There are certain things that you know I have always done in a similar fashion, whether it's uh, the things that you like or things that you don't like, whether it's something in your personal life or something in professional life. 
there's always been this um, thing of giving it everything uh, so i have always uh, approached uh, everything uh, by just giving it the best that i have and that i think is basically a, a trait which uh, has helped me get uh, where i am uh, there's nothing like a half done job or a half hearted job so i believe that whatever you do you do it with a lot of passion do it with all your heart work very hard there's absolutely no uh, shortcut to uh, success and uh, uh, basically um, work is worship for me so uh, and the place that i work in is uh, aptly called as the temple of the eye so when you look at the the mission and the vision of the uh, institute and the philosophy of our founder i think that all that kind of echoed with my outlook my approach and my sentiments and it just so aptly uh, worked out and uh, if you look at it everybody in shankar nitra has grown in the same way and we are all like one huge uh, family so uh, when you consider work as worship and uh, when you give it everything that you have uh, things just happen uh, this 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 uh, of course there are there are this ultimately the thing of how uh, it would work out but then life just happens and things just happen appropriately look at there have been several challenges um, being initiated into the field of keratoprosthesis very early on in um, my uh, cornea career was probably one of the earliest uh, challenges i uh, started uh, of uh, with doing keratoprosthesis processes almost at the fag end of my fellowship uh, however uh, that didn't seem like a very significant challenge because when you are uh, working and when you are learning under uh, of, i mean dr bp herself dr uh, Shrinivas K Rao, Dr. G. Sita Lakshmi, uh, Dr. Rajesh Kogla, and I have had uh, 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 you know friends for life from uh, uh, those who were my teachers. I have Dr. Rama Raj Kogla and Dr. Radhika who are currently my uh, directors of the Kanya department, and the constant support, guidance, and teaching of all of them basically helped groom and shape me into what I am uh, today. Uh, biggest personal and professional loss to me which is uh, palpable even uh, today is uh, uh, the loss of dr uh, g c kalakshmi uh, she was uh, not just a teacher she was a mentor she was a philosopher she was a guide i could even call her an elder sister for almost 2 years i was literally like her shadow and uh, uh, You know, it was a cruel stroke of destiny that snatched her away from us in in just a day, and uh, uh, it was uh, it was it was uh, an uh, unexplainable uh, loss uh, to me. And uh, but yes, we had to get up. We had to get back on our feet. and uh, this was possible because of uh, you know a team effort there were two people who lent a completely different meaning to what a uh, team effort meant and uh, uh, these are uh, dr baskar shrinivas and dr vinay pillai together we uh, worked very hard to strive uh, to move forward and uh, subsequently uh, shweta joined the team and together today uh, i guess we uh, have been able to make our service clinics anonymous with being a global one stop for ocular surface uh, disorders and um, uh, it's 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 been uh, um, a a challenging journey it's been a difficult journey but it's been one which uh, uh, has been immensely uh, satisfying and I've always just moved forward irrespective of the uh, situation uh well uh, if i were to rechoose if i were finishing my ms ofthalmo or my dnb at this point in time 20 years later 
I would definitely still choose Konya again, and this time it would be uh, absolutely uh, a love marriage. Uh, I think Konya is a speciality that has seen the maximum revolutionary boom in the past two decades. I am indeed fortunate to have been a part of that. Uh, uh, revolution and uh, especially uh, the emergence of ocular surface uh, disorders as a separate subspeciality of cornea happened at this uh, point in time. And I'm indeed fortunate to have been there at uh, uh, the right time and the right uh, place. And uh, if at all I had another chance, uh, and, uh, it would definitely be cornea once again. you into a little secret. Uh, I have been brought up in Mumbai. I never wanted to talk to Chennai. I wanted to become a doctor but I was very particular that I didn't want to do uh, dentistry. I uh, always wanted to do ophthalmology so I think in that particular uh, aspect I got my way. Uh, but in ophthalmology uh, I never wanted to do cornea, I didn't want to do oculoplasty. But at the end of it, uh, when you see the kind of work that I am doing today, it's a combination of uh, pure cornea, uh, oculoplasty to a large extent and uh, a lot of dental work because the mucous membrane grafts that uh, we do, the OOPP that we do where we uh, use the tooth uh, to give back vision um, uh, the OOKP procedure uh, well sometimes uh, it's not about what you want it's not about uh, uh, you know the choices that you have made sometimes things might just happen uh, entirely to the contrary I am in Chennai and I am doing all the things that I thought I would you know that I, that I at one point in time didn't want to do and uh, so uh, all that I would like to tell you guys there uh, it might sound like a little bit of an advice but it's not is that uh, irrespective of uh, what falls on your plate make sure that you uh, make the best of it sometimes there might have been some judgmental error on your part as to what you like and what you don't like but uh, whatever you have don't sulk don't resent for having gotten what you didn't want because you never know probably uh, that's what uh, uh, is going to make uh, you into a star and uh, just give it the best shot and I'm sure that uh, the uh, future will have a lot in store for you as long as you remember uh, three things uh, work hard, work very hard, do whatever you do with all your passion and uh, all your heart and uh, most importantly, just give it the best that you have.